Hey, what is going on guys? And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called World Edit. So, World Edit is a pretty serious and pretty major plugin for most servers because it just lets you create pretty much anything on your Minecraft server. So, I'm just going to run down the basics for you guys and just show you the most useful commands to use. So, with World Edit, the first thing that we're going to need to do anything with World Edit is the wand. So, with the wand tool, we can create selections from pretty much anything. So, and we can select two positions and just create anything out of that so for example if we left click the top corner of one of these blocks that'll select our first position now if we right click one of the bottom corners then as you guys can see I kinda selected like a whole square here because it selects everything from these two points so the one over there that I selected and the one here it selects everything between those points so all these blocks will be included here and it's kinda like a square if you can envision it then those two points are creating a square so after selecting something like that we can then type slash slash set and just change it to whatever block that we want so if we want to change this to gold block then we can do that so let's go ahead and test this out so any type of block I'm gonna try gold and then there we go BAM everything from those two points in that selection changed into gold blocks of course this was 2D but we can work with something on 3D in a little bit so those two points created a selection and everything in that selection gets changed when we do slash slash set so now I'm just going to change it to something else like diamond block and then there we go so no matter what we do until we select a new point we still have that region selected so whatever command we type it will still have that region selected so if we want we can type slash slash undo to undo any mistakes that we make and you can also slash slash redo so there we go and now we're gonna actually work on some something 3d so we can use kinda any block to create a pillar of the 3d object that we want to create so let's say we want to create a cube Then we can left click the top corner and then right click the bottom corner it can be any point on this floor but everything between those two points will be selected so from here to the top point and it's kinda like a square again so we will go like that and select everything in between those two points so every block will be changed when we do slash slash set and we can just change it to whatever we want so slash slash set gold block and there we go so now as you guys can see we have created a 3d object from the two points that we selected and another useful command is slash slash overlay and that kind of creates a layer of blocks over on top of the selection that we had so this is our selection right here and if we wanted to do slash slash overlay now create a new layer of blocks on top of that selection so let's go ahead and add an overlay of let's just do something random like grass bam there we go so as you guys can see it did add on top of the selection already see if we type slash slash undo then it wasn't replacing anything it was just adding on top so that's overlay that's pretty useful if you want to create a rooftop for something so let's say we wanted to close this and create a roof over it we can left click our first corner and then fly all the way diagonally across like this and select our second corner by right clicking so everything in between those two blocks will be selected and we can now create a roof so we can do slash slash overlay but I'm actually gonna just go ahead and just set it so slash slash set uh, diamond block and bam a lot of blocks would be changed so keep in mind that it will lag and it might even crash depending on how much you do so that's pretty sick and looks pretty awesome and yeah so that is that so let's go ahead and undo that there because we don't really want that another cool thing that we can do is if we create another pillar to create another 3D object, then we can pretty much outline walls. So it saves a lot of time. So this is a long way of doing things. What I'm about to do, I'm about to create walls a long way. So we select our first corner, select our second corner, and then type slash slash wood, wood plank. So there we go. We've created our first wall. So we have to do that four times if we want to have walls pretty much that's kinda a long way of doing things so I'm gonna show you the short way so I'm gonna slash slash undo this and there's actually a command called slash slash walls so we select our first left corner and then our second right corner then everything in between that will be selected so if we were to type slash slash set wood planks it doesn't work like that because what it does it fills in every single block so that's not what we want either but with a slash slash walls and that will actually outline walls for us in the block form that we want so you can also type IDs here so I'm just gonna go ahead and type 5 
bam there we go so that's pretty sick and saves a lot of time trust me another thing that we can do is we don't even have to use our wand we can just type slash slash pos1 now just do the same thing so I'm gonna go down here and do another cube and slash slash pos2 so there we go we pretty much just selected a cube right there and now if we type slash slash I'm just gonna do walls and then diamond block bam that just outlines walls in the two positions that we set so that's pretty cool now another useful command is when you create a new world and it's kinda of blank it's devoid pretty much there's nothing there you can't really do anything like where do you place a block well what you can do is slash slash up and just type how far you want to go up and that will create a glass block underneath you so as you guys can see it created a glass block underneath me ten blocks so that's pretty cool and always useful for a lot of things another really really useful command that I like to do is slash slash replace so if we select two corners and if we type slash slash replace we can type the block that is currently there so quartz block and we can replace all those blocks for something else but keep in mind these wood planks the gold block and the diamond blocks won't be changed because we're specifically changing just quartz block so we can change this for something else um let's go with stone brick bam all of it's going to be changed and all of it has been replaced that's pretty freaking awesome but i do like quartz better so i'm going to do slash slash undo so another useful command is a command called slash slash outline and that's kind of like the walls command except what it does it creates a roof a floor and the walls for us so it's pretty cool pretty much it leaves a hollow box for us so let's go ahead and select this pillar select our second corner and type slash slash outline and the block name or ID so there we go as you guys can see it is all full on the outside it has a roof it has walls but in the inside it's just pretty much like a house so that's always a useful command for you guys Now another useful command is the stack command so what it does is if we select two corners from top to bottom going diagonally across like that then we can do slash slash stack and that basically just multiplies it and stacks it on top or the bottom or whatever way you want to go it kind of doubles what you have so let's go ahead and test this out slash slash stack so if you want to stack it once then you can do that and then type the direction up down east west north or south there we go bam so we just stacked it once up so we can do it in any direction that's always a useful command that I like too so that's it for the tutorial on world edit guys those are the most useful commands that I find from this plugin there are a lot of other commands so if you guys want to see me do another episode of this then go ahead and drop a like because I'm thinking about doing uh, another episode where I show you guys how to copy and paste structures and it would be really helpful so drop a like subscribe for more plug tutorials and I'll see you guys next time peace out